Hello everybody, what is going on? It's Jimmy here back with another video and today my friends I want to tell you guys some new news what's going on in the world of Nintendo guys So after a couple days of making some videos on Sony and Microsoft I am gonna return doing my basic Nintendo content I primarily do Nintendo content, but every once in a while we veer off the track a little bit So today guys we have some information on Joy-Cons and Joy-Con drift everybody so a French consumer group decided to sue Nintendo for Joy-Con drift guys because guess what 65% of Joy-Cons are now breaking in the first year And I feel like this is a bigger deal than Nintendo wants you to think it is they want you to say oh It's fine. Just throw $70 at it again If you know you're selling a defective product the least they could do is charge less money $70 is too much money for something that breaks in a year guys I've went through three sets of joy cons and guess what not one of mine drifted I had other hardware issues my other hardware issues are when I slide them onto my switch They no longer stick on the buttons keep getting stuck I've had numerous issues where the joystick doesn't want to turn very well and it's not like in game like joy con drift I mean physically it doesn't want to turn I don't even know how stuff like this can happen guys I've had to throw away a couple of them guys and I've had to buy new ones I have literally bought like three sets of grays and I bought one other set for myself because nothing broke guys but I just wanted to buy another set of yellow ones guys so I technically right now own two pairs of gray and one pair of yellow guys because I did throw away one pair because it was just too far gone the other pair is still usable to some degree and then my newest pair which I got this year is already showing signs of wear and tear guys and this just bothers me big time because I feel like I'm throwing my money here at a dead horse I know that those gray joy cons I just bought are gonna break yet again guys the yellow ones probably not I hardly use them whatsoever but the gray ones I use almost every single day especially more recently especially when the Mario 3d all-stars collections came out I've been playing Super Mario Galaxy on my TV guys and I put the wrist straps on and I play it with the motion controls because I don't like it with the pro controller as much I think truly it's the only time that joy cons actually are good for just that guys because honestly most of the time joy cons are just not very good and they end up actually making it harder for me to actually play the game and it just ends up becoming a thing where it's like a mess nintendo with this new 4k switch or switch pro whatever they decide to do needs to refine the joy con needs to refine stuff like this because truly it's not fair that we as consumers have to just keep putting up with it they put out so many good games guys that it's hard for me just to say i'm not replacing my joy cons i have to play these games even the switch lights having joy con drift issues guys and honestly it's despicable the way Nintendo's quality has drifted in recent years honestly it's sad and I really hope that they get their stuff together here guys because a website actually has leaked out a Switch Pro, and I'll make a video on that later today, guys. So if you guys are excited for that, don't forget to drop me a like, guys. Comment and subscribe. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this. Have you had Joy-Con drift issues? Have you entered our giveaway? There's a link in the description. Thank you guys for all your support, and I'm sorry again about Joy-Con drift. I really hope Nintendo does something about it. I really hope none of my followers have to deal with this problem. Anyways, guys, Jimmy out of here. Thanks for the support.